joke about it, but I think that's what, one of the best things about the band is that we've actually all become friends really through the band. We weren't like, oh, you're already mates, like, oh, should yeah. we start a band? It's we're like, just literally, we're like, we want a band, who are we going to be with? Oh, I don't know this kid, he's a good guitarist, so good singer, or good yeah. bass player, and yes, that's what we need, and uh, I think that was that's always been the kind of good thing, isn't it? Brief history of Stacey and Mike. Oh, how long have you got? I used to go to school with them all. I went primary school with Ollie. Come over from America, joined Brentwood County High School. We all went to secondary school together. I did a uh, four, four RE course, which I did like during the breaks at lunchtime, only because I had Miss Finch and she had a set of cans on her. I've got a double C in that, and so did she. <laughs> I wanted to start a band, and that's kind of how I first met Luke. Fixed up like a band with Bonsai at the time, who was called Mike. He didn't, didn't have Bonsai. He wasn't named yet. I met Luke and Bonsai in school. Well, Ollie come on the scene. I didn't I didn't know him. I didn't know who he was. I was 14. I was just itching, itching to get a band together, really. I was in a few other bands, like the real start of them. And then Ollie come into the rehearsal. He cruised up and he stole Luke, my drummer. I kind of like could see that that weren't going nowhere. Yep, see you later, Bonds. I'm off. I hate both of them because they left me. But then I sort of Big Bonsai to join us. And then Ollie generally wanted to try and get me in the band because he saw me playing bass. It ended up with just me, Bonsai and Ollie. You wanted to be an RAF pilot. We killed your dream, mate, didn't we? Actually, yeah, you used to be in, you was in a jazz band, weren't you? No. I, I, no. <laughs> I just felt like um, these people would play a major role in my life. Well, yeah, we used to jam and just have a laugh, really, just fuck around, you know? It was down at Chippy half the time. But yeah, I used to like almost hide the fact that I was... Uh, playing guitar and things like that because you just get the piss taken out of you. And that's when we become states of emotion. I actually said, I went right with states of emotion, we're going to do this now. It's like something out of a Hollywood movie or something. In, in a way, I think the three of us shocked ourselves because we thought, fuck, it's really, we were like underdogs from the start. Mm -hmm. It was like, well, can the three of us do it? You know, can, that I wasn't even singing at the time. And I was like, can you sing and play? I was like, yeah, I'll give it a go. And then, and then as soon as we got in here, we just had great fun making music together. Essentially, we was a three piece. We got a good friend of ours wishing to play guitar. Genius. That unfortunately was, didn't really work out, but obviously went for the best in the end. Oh, I didn't really have a choice. Luke called me up and was like, you, you're rehearsing tomorrow. And I was like, what do you mean? He was like, yeah, you, yeah you're going to come down and rehearse tomorrow with us. I just had to steal him because he was a great guitarist. And again, he just fitted into the fold perfectly. And yeah, we just went from there, really. <laughs> Sage Emotional was a different band then. We were all kids, so like it's grown from that. We've never ever set out to sound like a particular band, but that's the beauty of it really. We just get in a room and just see what happens. And then we've just basically been writing, playing ever since and just not taking no for an answer.